everyone, I'm Miss Anita and I'm so glad that you could join me today for our at home science experiment. My science experiment that I hope that you will do at home later is all about columns. Now columns you see all kinds of different places. You will see columns maybe on your porch. You might see columns um, on a bridge on many, many buildings. You might even see columns next time you come to one of our library branches. So make sure you look when you are there both inside and out. Well, our columns, when builders use columns, they have to decide on shape and size. They need it to be sturdy enough to hold up whatever they're building. Two of the most popular types of columns are circular and rectangular. So today, that's what we are going to make, and we're going to see how strong our columns are. So, for our experiment today, the things that you will need in order to complete this experiment are two pieces of construction paper. Now, you might say, Miss Anita, I don't have any construction paper at home. If you have printer paper, that works just fine. I don't know about notebook paper. Try it and see. So we need two pieces of construction paper, tape, a ruler, and a whole bunch of books. Now the books all need to be the same size, same shape, same thickness in order for our experiment to work. So as you can see, I have a big stack and they're all same size shape. First thing we're gonna do is take one of our pieces of construction paper and we are gonna make a circular column. And to do that, all I have to do is roll it up. Now I want it to be about two inches the diameter. That's a big math word that I'm sure most of you, probably all of you know. So we're going to have two inches across, and then I'm going to tape it, because we don't want it to come apart. So we'll tape this way, and it helps if you have somebody that can help you tear off the tape and hand it to you it is a little tough doing it all by yourself but you may be just fine okay so we've got our cylinder and this is always fun to do don't you just love doing that we're going do 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 let's hit the cylinder okay we've got our cylinder column with my other piece of construction paper we are going to make it rectangular now i'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to look about two inches, kind of put a, run my fingernail there so I know about where two inches is. And I'm going to fold my paper all the way and I'm going to crease it real good so when we get ready to stand it up like our cylinder, that it will stand up and not fall over. Okay, I'm gonna undo it a little bit. And I want it to where it looks like a square on top. You notice there's my square on top. And once again, I'm going to take my tape and I am going to tape it so it doesn't fall down. two columns, both the same height. I'm going to move these out of the way. Get these like this. And then what we're going to do is one at a time, we're going to take my books and we're going to put them on our column. Now, before I put any more on, I'm going to take a guess as to how many books I can stack 
on top of my circular column. Now these are pretty big books, so they are kind of thin, but I think I'm gonna get four. All right, so help me count. We're gonna do four. I think four, and then when I put number five on, it's gonna tip over. So there's one, two, three, four, five, it didn't fall, six, seven, oh my goodness, eight, Nine, ten, starting to wobble a little bit. Eleven. All right, so I had ten before it fell. All right, so I'm going to take this one. Now, we're going to try our rectangular one. It looks like it might be a little sturdier. So if I got 10 on this cylinder one, I bet I can get 15 on this rectangular one. What do you all think? You think 15? Let's see. There's one. Here's two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I got seven on that before it fell. Pretty neat. So we had ten on our circular column and seven on our rectangular. Now what I want you to do at home, I want you to get some paper and some books and you try to make two columns and see how many books you can stack on your columns. Now, once you do that, this experiment at home, I would love for you to Ask your mom or dad if it would be all right if they took some pictures and post them on the Ascension Parish Library, uh, Library media sites on Facebook, on Instagram, on um, Twitter. When you do that, make sure you tag the Ascension Parish Library because we would love to see the columns that you make and see if you can beat my 10 columns on my cylinder. Now, you might be asking, I wonder where she found this experiment. We have a really neat database on our website. It's called Science Flicks. If you go to our homepage at myapl.org, bottom right corner, you will see the word Science Flicks. If you click on it, you need your library card because you need that number on it. Once you enter you, your number, you will have all kinds of great things dealing with science. There's earth science, space, technology, about the human body, all kinds of things. There are experiments. There's information, and if you don't particularly like to read, it will even read it for you. There are um, talks about careers. If you're interested in a science career, you can click on that part and it will tell you all kinds of careers in science. So check out Science Flicks on our website. I'm so glad you joined me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.